Hey there beauties, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Naturally Liz and on this channel, I talk about all things beautiful, especially fragrances. Whether this is your first time watching or you're returning, thank you guys so much for stopping by. I truly do appreciate you. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about how I noticed my personality has changed based off of the fragrances that I wear. So if you guys are interested in hearing what I'm going to talk about, or you just wanna hang out with moi, then keep on watching. Before we get into the video, guys, I always start my videos off with an affirmation. And today's affirmation comes from Brene Brown. Courage starts with showing up and letting ourselves be seen. I love that because it goes with what I'm going to be talking about today. Now on with the video. There's a fragrance tag going around about um, my fragrance personality tag. I think that's the name of it. I watched Denise Adore do hers and Simply Aisha, but that's not what this video is about. I've actually wanted to do this video for some months, but I've been kind of afraid to do it because I didn't know if you guys wanted to see it or if you wanted to hear it, but I've been getting more, building up the courage more as in that affirmation to just show up and do the content and hopefully you guys enjoy this video. So what I've noticed about myself is that my personality has changed. I started noticing that based off of the fragrances that I've been wearing and loving and gravitating towards. So in the beginning of my fragrance journey, like from when I first started wearing fragrances up into some months ago, I always wore fragrances like Tiffany & Co, Chanel Chance Eau Tendre. I didn't bring it out here, but Chloe Love Story, Burberry EDT, and if you notice, these fragrances all have something in common. They're feminine leaning, they're on a softer side, they don't grab that much attention. Yes, people will be able to smell these fragrances on you, but you are not the center of attention. It's not going to fill the room. That's the type of person I've been. I've never liked to be the center of attention. So doing a YouTube channel is crazy because you're putting yourself out there, but I'm just the type of person that I'll sit in the back of the room, I'll mind my business, or if you notice I'm here, I'm, I'm telling you I'm sweating bullets while I'm doing it. I really like to be more in the background. But as I've been doing my weekly therapy, working on myself, self-reflecting, I've been able to come out more in the, come out of the shadows getting more courage, letting myself be seen. That's why I really love that affirmation because I felt like it really went well with the video. You know, coming on here, talking to you guys every week, just not being afraid to express myself has just been really healing for me. But I noticed like, hey, the types of fragrances you're wearing are changing. And part of that is because I'm smelling things, I'm playing around th with things, but Another part of that is I'm becoming more confident in who I am and showing up for myself and not worrying too much about what people think. So now I'm wearing fragrances like Donna Born and Roma Intense, Honor and Glory by La Tafa, Acro Dark, which we'll talk about when it gets colder outside. And one of my new loves, number five, you guys, spoiler alert, this Y'all see, it's starting to be a dense. We'll talk about her in another video, but all of those fragrances command attention. You cannot be shy. You cannot be a wallflower. People are going to notice you when you wear these fragrances. And the fact that I'm wearing these fragrances says a lot for me because it's saying, you're coming out of the background. You're coming out. You're not afraid to be seen. You're expressing yourself. And one of the ways you're expressing yourself is through your fragrances. So I'm just super excited about that. You, you guys have no idea the work that I've put into making myself a better person. And let me tell you, I still have such a long way to go. And I'm trying not to get emotional because I, I feel myself getting emotional. I have a, a, I have a way to go in my journey but I can look behind me and see that I've come so far. And that is just like super, 
exciting for me, really. And I just wanted to come on here and tell you guys, like, you know, this is just, it's phenomenal. And yes, when you're wearing perfume, the goal is to smell good, but you're expressing yourself through your fragrances. Tobacco Oud. I never thought I would like that fragrance. That's a very bold fragrance in my opinion. Dozo by Narcotica, that's another one. Oh my gosh, that fragrance is sexy. And those are fragrances that I feel like, girl, you can wear it, you can get it. Let them see, let them see and that's okay. So I'm not gonna go on too long. I just wanted to come on here and talk about that with you guys. And I would love to know do you feel like fragrances express who you are as a person? Have the fragrances changed over time that you've worn? Not just based off of, I smell this, I smell this, and now I want to smell more, but based off of your personality. Do you think that fragrances can be therapeutic and help you express yourself? I would love to know what you guys think about that because um, that's just something I've been thinking about wanted to come on here and share that with you guys so um nice short video i hope you guys enjoy this video if you do give this video a thumbs up share my content because sharing is caring and subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed we talk about all things on here all things beautiful and it's beautiful to heal to do the work to show up for yourself that's so important so until we meet again, guys, remember how blessed and highly favored you are. Stay safe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.